What is up? It is Zane here. I'm going to tell you all the runway secrets that I know for this insane AI tool. You just put at gen1 and then type any prompt that you want. I haven't put anything forbidden, so I don't know what's banned. And this is where it gets extremely deep, okay? There's actually a manual, which you should read. It's two pages only. It gives us the commands and explains what they're going to do. My favorite one is the upscale one because it's just gonna make your video more HD. But there also is some negatives, we'll get into it. Interpolation is the best one in my opinion. It just makes the video a lot smoother. That is as smooth and perfect as it gets. Next secrets are denoising and subsampling. This is a denoise 100 video. Looks really solid. But we're starting to get some lag. I got some super cursed results. This was- I'm gonna get banned. Then this is Denoise 1. So it barely did any edits to the original. And it's pretty laggy. And this is subsampling 1. So really slow. It looks kinda cool. And this one's subsampling 10. So it's really fast. It looks sick actually, what the heck? Now we have some really crazy ways to change up your image in extreme ways kind of. We got temporal scale. All right, I have no idea what it means, so that means we gotta try it. I just made the coolest thing ever. This is how it looks with temporal scale at 0.1. So it's affecting the colors. It looks unbelievably amazing. And this is level 10 temporal scale. What in the heck is this? Now for CFG scale, the lowest I could get it was 2. And this is the video that it produced. Kind of laggy, but looks crisp. And this was it at 25. So it really changed the style up. It's almost more blocky looking even. Kind of darker. So the CFG scale enhances how much of the text or image prompt is taken into account. The lower, the more creative, the higher, the more strict to the prompt. I had to test out depth blur level. This is depth blur at one. Kind of interesting. It looks stylized nice though. And this is level 10. Looks crazy! Way more style, but... Kind of weird. I really am liking it though. Now let's combine my favorite. And while the art's cooking up, there's some really cool stuff too. So seeds, you can do dash dash compare. It basically makes a transformation video for you. This was my version of it. Looks really cool. And if you didn't know, Gen 1 is made by Runway. And Runway is insanely good because their AI green screen technology can chroma you perfectly. Instead of you having to hand manually green screen yourself like in the past. Don't ever do that. Use Runway or AI green screen tools that are good. And you can isolate backgrounds, foregrounds, mask. So you can get even more crazy. So this one has five blur and temporal scale 10. It fried the image and video completely. It's not even here anymore. And I'm hoping this is my perfect video, please. What the heck? This is horrifying, but I love it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video though. This is probably the best piece of technology that I have access to right now. I'm incredibly thankful. And I just want to create in fun ways. And this is what I enjoy because it's low effort and I can just type in what I want and create my ideas quick. So I'm really, really happy. And I'm giving away my digital art for free. You can comment your crypto wallet. <laughs> I'm just gonna send rare art that I create to people for free. Just email me your ETH address 
or your NFT wallet. But since I have no clout, you're probably gonna get a free art piece. Like, come on, why wouldn't you want that? <laughs> but yeah, chase your dreams no matter what. I listened to my synthwave music mix and it was the best thing I ever heard. So I just got some really amazing stuff on the way. Chase your fucking dreams no matter what. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.